We're here with Jack Bergman. Jack is with Allied Business Network. He connects small, medium-sized businesses together in multiple networks, which include Allied Business Network, Smart Business Savings, Business Advantage Plus, and it results in more than 300,000 businesses saving money. Now, Jack, we get a lot of comments about people struggling with productivity, systemizing their business, they feel they're distracted. You know, they have a million screen tabs open at the end of their day. They can't get anything done. And one thing about you is I know you have the business systemized, and you told me you work from 8 till 2. So we need to know your secret sauce. So how can we get more done in less time and not get distracted? But before you tell us the, the secret sauce, tell us that time when you felt overwhelmed and maybe unproductive with the, the call center incident. Well, um Early on, we used to call businesses. Um, everybody inside our office either was making a cold call, um, trying to convince somebody to join a free buying network, or they were calling an existing member to convince them to use one of our vendors. Um, in the process of that, I would say 95% of the of everybody that worked there, that was their job. So we leaned very heavily on our phone system. So it seemed like we went through a period, for whatever reason, at our office where our phones would completely go dead for um, half a day. Um, I was completely just in the dark uh, with 10 to 12 office employees with absolutely nothing to do. Mm -hmm. um, which was just a extremely frustrating situation for a, you know a small yeah. business at the time. Um, thought you know we really were making great strides, and and here we can't even get our phone system to work. Um, interestingly enough, out of the whole crew, I think callers. No disrespect to uh, sort of telemarketers and callers. I think they're a certain breed because. They take an enormous amount of abuse on the phone. It's a tough and, job. <laughs> it's a tough job. So you get a lot of unique kind of people. Uh, we had one guy, uh, which I would have never known this until this occurrence with the phones dying all the time. He used to pull a harmonica out of his shirt pocket. And um, so I would sit in the dark and listen to one of my employees um, play the harmonica. It was a very moving time. Needless to say. Yeah, yeah, that's a great story. I know you also mentioned one of those times when you basically were going in these big buildings and you had to get out and about. What happened with that? Well, I, I was trying to figure out ways to, to um, acquire biz, small to medium-sized businesses into our network. Uh, being that the program was free, um, I had to generate... Uh, about a thousand members for um, an outside investor at the time who was going to share in the revenue. So I came up with this idea that I would stroll into office complex centers that have multiple businesses in them, um, dress appropriately, and um, start at the very top floor, walk in, and approach. Uh, the business and just tell them that they were automatically part of a buying group that everybody in the building was part of. Um, show them a flyer that sort of showed all the logos and all the discounts and if they would just give me a business card uh, with the contact name they could take advantage of all the discounts which I have to say worked beautifully. We would I would end up with pretty much everybody in the building, uh, leave the building, and eat lunch and call it a day. That's great. That's great. So I know you remember, you were telling me, you remember taking eight years to get to 10,000 members, and then another three to get to, to what number, and that it was effortless. Well, we reached a point where the Internet, the search side of the Internet, Google, was be becoming the dominant sort of forced from a search engine standpoint and we hired a, a, a local firm in Pittsburgh and started to make significant investment into the optimization of AVN from a search engine standpoint and obviously having multiple vendors in multiple categories there are a lot of ways 
to find us. So if we were successful from a search standpoint, um, it, it was sort of limitless. We could, we could really dominate a few areas. And so once we really started to see the fruits of, of, of that process, we were ending up with, um, for example, the first year, it took me a year to get 100 members, we were, we were averaging about 100 members a day. Wow. So very quickly we ended up with um, 100,000 members in a very short amount of time. So yeah. it was just a huge turning point for us. Yeah, it goes from kind of walking up and down building to uh, leveraging the Internet. And But, I mean, the reality is a lot of people use SEO, but you have systems in place to help, you know, to onboard members. Can you tell us about some of the things you do? You were talking about some of those, the, the touch points. Well, I think members, acquiring members is great. We learned early on that adding businesses um, doesn't equal sales or generate sales within our vendor list. So the whole trick to what we do is, is all the marketing, the ingredients behind what happens once you join ABN. And as we uh, became more sophisticated, um, we were able to obviously do automated emails after you join and the traditional email, online email type of campaigns. But I think one of the things that kept us extremely strong is our sort of old school ways. Um, we, we, we immediately followed up with a welcome phone call from our staff. Um, we did a direct mail um, brochure type of postcards. Um, we, we sort of used all the fundamentals of marketing and really um, we didn't lean very heavily on necessarily our email campaign. But the key was we had good information, we had good vendors, we had good deals. Um, we just had to make sure that the businesses understood how to use them. And so a lot of the vendors, there's a certain mix. Every category had a certain mix that we had to uh, figure out. And once we had that, we, we had something special. Yeah. And I know one of the things when you hire someone, you kind of make them... Uh, well, you tell the story. What, what happens when you hire someone... For the uh, and you you make them agree to that that month and why? Well, we don't have a huge staff and everything we've put together here at ABN. Um, we've been in business 18 years, so we've pretty much invented our own recipe here. So you know it's not always going to work out. Um, we've been very fortunate that we haven't had a whole lot of marketing directors, but over 18 years, you can imagine we've had a few. But you know, we, I sort of hire somebody and let them know that if hey if it doesn't work out, um, I, you know I'll pay you for 30 or 60 days after. But you have to promise that if it doesn't work out for you, that you'll give me the same courtesy of 30 or 60 days. And the reason why we do that is we never bring somebody new in without them working with the existing person for that 30 or 60 days, which is crucial. Um, in not letting things get lost in translation. So it, 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 it puts everybody at ease, uh, makes my life a lot easier, and I think helps that marketing director focus on newer ideas so they have the, all the basics and all the, all the base of what they need to know so they're not bogged down just trying to figure everything out from scratch. Right, I mean that's great because I mean if if every company could hire, you know, train someone in that 30 days or 60 days, that's just a, a shortened span of time to get them up and running. So that's, you know, it shows that you have those systems in place. What um what's some something someone should do like after they listen to this, they hear some of these stories and your words of wisdom. What's something they should do to start with to systemize their business? What should, what should where should they get started? Well, I'm I'm a big believer in the business plan. Uh, I think the exercise of, of forcing yourself to go out and purchase, um, whether it be a piece of software, or something that forces you to complete a business plan. I think there are questions in there that will you'll struggle with. Um, many, you know, you have to come up with some answer for um, you know, every part of your business plan, but without that, I think there are too many unknowns. And uh, I think you're just opening, opening yourself up to uh, occurrences that you just you're not you're not going to be ready for. So 
I think it's an absolute must to try to figure out. I also believe whenever you think you're going to be profitable, I think you have to tack on another year or two. I think people just think they're going to make money, and it just doesn't happen as quick as they think it's going to happen, so they run out of money. And I don't think that that's, you know, I think I think you can read that in a lot of places, but they just simply say you're going to run out of money. So they say, make sure you have enough to last. Mm -hmm. but I believe what what whatever amount of time you think that is, even if you're sure of it, double it. For sure. What's um? First of all, Jack, appreciate your time. And where can the audience find you and your site to reach out and thank you? Tell us a little bit about um, Allied Business Network. Well, we're you know ABN Save. It's uh, Allied Business Network, it's abnsabe.com. Um, we're easy to get to. We're a free membership. Uh, my email is jack at abnsave. Um, we have certain. We have about 42, 43 national vendors that we have pre-negotiated discounts on, and we also have an area uh, where we get uh, vendors requesting to be a vendor on ABN. So there's there's a, an area for that as well. We respond to everybody. Um, we do look for, and we have to purposely look for national vendors. Our members are all over the country uh, and in Canada. So we have to have the type of vendors that can service uh, our members anywhere. But uh, pretty easy to get a hold of, um, you know, and uh, as long as it's not past 2 o'clock, uh, I'm available. <laughs> well, it's past 2 now, so I'm going to let you go. But I really appreciate your time, Jack, so thank you so much. Well, thank you as well.